Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'll be showing you how to change the engine oil, engine oil filter, and the clutch filter on the 2016 Honda Africa Twin with dual clutch transmission. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to change the engine oil, engine oil filter, and clutch filter on the Honda Africa Twin. Now, Honda recommends that you change the engine oil first at 600 miles for its first service and then once again every 8,000 miles thereafter. Now, as far as the engine oil filter and clutch filter are concerned, Honda recommends that you change it too at 600 miles for its first service and then once again every 16,000 miles thereafter. Now, Honda came out with two different versions of the Africa Twin, one with a dual clutch transmission and one without. So if you have the bike at home that does not have the dual clutch transmission, you don't have to worry about this extra step in the process when it comes to changing the clutch oil filter. So today I'm going to walk you through the process on how to get the oil changed on the Honda Africa Twin. To do this job, you'll just need a few basic hand tools. So here we've got our torque wrench. We've got a 3 8 inch drive ratchet with extension and 12 millimeter socket. Then we have two 14 millimeter boxed open end hand wrenches, a 5 millimeter Allen T handle, some rubber gloves, some safety glasses, and a drain pan. Now to make ease of removing the engine oil filter, we've got our Tusk oil filter socket. Then we've got our Tusk oil change kit. This is going to come with the engine oil filter, the clutch oil filter, two replacement crush washers, and the clutch oil filter cover o-ring, as well as five quarts of oil. Now to keep things clean, we've got some rags, the Pro Funnel from Motion Pro, and some contact cleaner. Before beginning any work on your motorcycle, be sure to reference your service manual for proper procedures and torque specs. To start, we'll remove the skid plate with using our 5mm Allen wrench T-handle and our 14mm box open end wrenches. Next, start the engine and let idle for 3-5 to five minutes. Then stop the engine and wait for approximately 2-3 to three minutes. Place a drain pan underneath the bike, remove the fill plug, remove both of the drain plugs from underneath the engine case, drain the oil. Once oil has been drained, reinstall the drain plugs with new crush washers and torque them to 22 foot-pounds. Remove and replace the engine's oil filter. Before installing the engine oil filter, be sure to lube the O-ring with some engine oil. Torque to 19 foot-pounds. On the right side of the engine case, remove and replace the clutch oil filter and the clutch oil filter cover o-ring. Now the clutch oil filter may be difficult to remove, so you might want a pick to assist in the removal of the filter. When installing the new clutch oil filter, make sure that the rubber side is facing in towards the engine. And press into place followed by a spring. Before installing the clutch filter cover, be sure to lubricate the O-ring. When reinstalling the clutch oil filter cover, torque the bolts to nine foot-pounds. Next, you can add 4.4 quarts of oil to the engine for the CRF1000D, which is the Africa Twin with dual clutch transmission, or 4.3 quarts for the CRF1000A which is the Africa Twin without dual clutch transmission. Be careful not to fill the engine fill plug with too much oil too quickly. It may fill up fast and you may lose some oil out of the fill plug. Once oil has been added to the engine, start the bike and let idle for three to five minutes. Then you can stop the engine for approximately two to three minutes, then check the engine oil level by pulling the dipstick, wiping it clean, then place it into the hole, but do not thread into place. Remove the dipstick once more and check the level. When checking the engine oil, make sure that the motorcycle is on a level surface and the bike is in an upright position. After the engine oil and filters have been replaced, clean the drain and fill plug areas. Reinstall the skid plate. Make sure to properly dispose of your used oil and oil filters. And that's it. Changing the oil on the Africa Twin is an easy task and definitely one that you can tackle at home in your garage. Now, if you have any questions or concerns as to what we've done here today, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get an answer to you. Also, everything that we've used here today can be found on our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com. 
Also be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more how-tos, product spotlights and tests. All right guys, that's it for me. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thank you for watching and keep turning those wrenches.